Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to make a video here. Um, me and my girlfriend are actually going to Tobamori. It is a national park in Ontario. Uh, I've been there a few times. It's one of my favorite places to hike, to go kayaking, and we're gonna take you guys along. I'm gonna talk more about the vehicle that I have. It's my daily, the M340. I already made a, a quick video introducing it, but we're gonna do a road trip on it. We're probably gonna be putting about, I would say 600 to 800 kilometers for this trip. We're gonna be staying at a hotel and then coming back tomorrow, probably in the evening sometime. I'm gonna let you guys know about the fuel economy in this vehicle throughout the whole trip, its reliability, um, the comfort features that it has, and just the overall experience with it. If you guys are ever in Ontario, you guys are from Toronto, wherever you guys are, and you wanna check out Tobamori, definitely follow this video to get some recommendations on where to, where to go and where to see the sightseeing and stuff like that. So yeah, follow us along. What are you thinking? I think the first pair. Let's do it. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, let's see how much fuel we have. Okay, we have enough. We got about 500 kilometers. Hola, amiguitos. <laughs> this is the trip that we have going on. We're leaving at 10.50. It's gonna be around 276 kilometers. Google says three hours and a half. We'll probably do a couple stops in between to get a little break. So that's it. We'll see you when we get there. Besitos. I'm just going on the highway now. The car says it has about 500 kilometers of range and you can see here that we have to drive about 273 kilometers. And uh, for these buttons here, I'm on comfort mode right now. So we're going to actually select Eco Pro. You can see the screen, the screen change to efficient driving setting. What's cool about this is that uh, this car actually has a mild hybrid engine motor sorry a mild hybrid motor and it actually will put the car in a cruising setting on the highway or whenever um, you're braking it'll actually regenerate power and that'll actually really help the fuel economy economy of this car let's see when we get to our destination uh, what is our range and we will report back to you show you something you talk though <laughs> so whenever my boyfriend's huh? driven what what is it 250 kilometers plus okay yeah this pops out and it prompts him to take a break it says break recommendation break recommendation would you like to take a break and then it also shows you places where you can stop and then you can say don't ask again i'm gucci or remind me later all right everybody so this is the first time that has ever happened to me the car just popped up with a notification saying carrying car vitalized do you want to be revitalized and i think uh it just once you press yes it starts playing a really calming music and it has this uh flowing air that comes up and it automatically opened the sunroof for me and i'm assuming that it just kind of revitalize your senses because it knows that you've been driving a long time i think we've been driving for about two hours now and it is the first time i'm experiencing it i think it's pretty funny it's entertaining but it's also cool to see that your car actually takes care of you and is actually watching out for you and i think it's a really cool effect what's going on everybody we have officially made it to tobomori we have stopped off at takomori which is a uh, taco truck 
It looks like it's pretty good. It's gonna be our first time trying it. But before we go get some food, I wanted to show you the uh, fuel economy after our three hours and a half drive. So let me get a little bit closer here. So as you can see, I've driven 285 kilometers since the start of uh, the trip. And what's amazing is after I put it on Eco Pro mode, okay, the car still has about 361 kilometers of range. So that means I've used up about 140 kilometers of range. So because I started at 500, now it's at 361, which is really, really impressive if you think about it, because I've driven 286 kilometers and it's only gone down 140 kilometers of range. That is incredible. It can perform as a race car if you want it to, but at the same time, it can also be a great road tripping car. It will save a lot of gas if you put it on Eco Pro mode. Now let's check the condition of the car after the trip. So not too bad actually. I mean, there's a couple couple bugs that got hit on the way, but there's not too many bugs this year. So, I mean, at this time of the year, so it's done pretty good. Still needs a wash after though, for sure. But overall, pretty clean. All right, everybody. So we just stopped off at Taco Mori. You want to show everybody what you got? I got a carnitas bowl. I don't know why I say carnitas. See if I'm Spanish. Carnitas. Open it, open it. Five hours later. Ooh. Whoa, okay. Let me try it. Let me try it. Try, try, try. It's actually it good. It looks good. What do you think? <laughs> yeah? All right. I think it's terrible, you shouldn't have any. And I got myself a, uh, mm. a wrap. This is a chicken wrap and he put the uh, and he put the cheese on it as well. So it's got a cheese coating and he didn't even charge us for it. He was a super nice guy, super uh, friendly. I'm gonna do my boyfriend's honors first. Okay. Look at these though, I've never go seen- Go for it, go for it. I've never seen a wrap like this though. Yep, she likes this more than the bowl. <laughs> no, 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 no way. <laughs> but guys, come to, to Taco Mori. If you ever come to Taco Mori, come to Taco Mori to get your lunch and dinner. Just got the keys to our hotel. Now we are going to find our room. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? I love it. Oh, look at this, warning. Active bear area. Oh. Gotta be careful about those bears. A bird oh, oh geez. No one gonna mess with you. <laughs> and we have a cabin. We just don't have a room like this. We have a cabin. Yes, we have a cute little cabin, I believe. And look at this. What is this guys? Oh yeah. You got a barbecue. All right, this is our little stay for tonight. Wow. It's pretty nice. Wow. Brand new TV. Okay, we made it to the trailhead. And uh, it took us a bit of time because there was no parking. So we had to take a shuttle bus here. And we were freaking out because we didn't realize, we didn't know if it was seven kilometers one way or seven kilometers full. We just weren't um, prepared. And so it's we figured it out now. Hopefully it'll, it'll only take us like three kilometers each way. And we're going to see some nice views. I'll take you guys along. This is not like, oh, we're like doing yoga. No, you got to think a bird is behind you and run the fuck out of where you want. Bear sees me right now wearing pink. Hmm, I'm eating. I'm sirloin steak for the bear. You're sirloin steak for the bear? Yeah. Well, guess what? We didn't bring any bear spray. Uh, even so, even more. I'm gonna swap them. What do we do if a bear comes in? Well, I don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. What are you gonna do? Say bye to the world. 
<laughs> Just goodbye. Goodbye. I'm done. The trail so far is being pretty good. It's just really rocky, which gives a really interesting pathway for us. Like you could really pick a lot of different paths, but you do have to be careful. You know, you can really twist your ankle pretty easily, but it's fun. Everybody, we've made it to the lion's head. It's called lion's head hike because of this stone. It's shaped of a lion's head. And it's a gorgeous view overlooking the blue waters. And people love to come kayaking, hiking, boating, swimming. Rock climbing. Espinovia aquí. And uh, tell them that I'm scared of heights. So. She's very scared of heights, but she made it all the way here all by herself. Yeah. Proud, proud woman. Good morning. So we just had a beautiful stay at this cottage here. <laughs> we got all we got all dressed up because we're going on a cruise today. And we're gonna go check out the grotto as well. And what are you gonna do right now? I'm gonna drop off the key. So sad. You guys should stay here. This is the best place to stay at. Yeah, Seriously. check it out. Like, no, I'm not biased. It's just, that was a great stay. It's good cost, uh, good amenities. They have a hot tub as well here. I think we showed it to you yesterday. We yeah, didn't get to it use it though. And it's really close to all the attractions. And everything is new. That's the yeah. part that I like. Everything is new. We are on our way to the grotto now mm -hmm. and we're going to show you what it's like there. Beautiful scenery with a cave, nice blue waters. It's one of the best uh, best destinations that you should visit when you come to Tobomori. You want to take a selfie here? Um, yeah. Like you're coming down? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't see it. 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 Oh, I can't see it.
gathering, hammering at the cliff face. The water erodes the weaker limestone, leaving behind a harder rock called dolomite. We're officially on the island of Flower Pot. First stop, Los Baños. All right, guys, this is the flower pot. This is the big flower pot, and one of the main attractions you should come to see when you're in Tobamori. Take the Bruce Anchor Cruise that we did, and come here. You can come here and stay for two hours, three hours, go do all the hikes. Um, but for us, we're on a time crunch, so we have to just look at it. Just look at it for five minutes. <laughs> Maybe yeah. 10. It's pretty though. Very pretty. 